Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars, the original version. Let's restore the game and continue on. So we were talking to Lady Piedmont, Piedmont, Piedmont before, but we're going to go out because I want to go and trigger something that happens outside. Just a minute, monsieur. What's your problem? No problem, if you cooperate. What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flat. You bet! Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. Nothing, Guido. Zilch! Our apologies. What? I had to report you to the authorities. Randir, we are the authorities. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, Flash. Hey, Shorty. I didn't think much of your trick, little man. I don't know what you're looking for, but you picked on the wrong guy. Maybe you'll spread the word around the sewers. George Stobart is on the case. That's Stobart. Two B's and two T's. It sounded impressive to me, but the weasel didn't seem to share my enthusiasm. Still, I figured he'd think twice before gunning me down in the street in cold blood. I do not like your tone. Oh yeah? And what are you going to do about it? If you do not go away, I will gun you down in cold blood, right here in the street without thinking twice about it. Forget it. Excuse me. Yeah? Don't you think you have some explaining to do? Huh? I'm an American citizen and a bona fide visitor to your country. What the? You can't touch me up in the street and expect to get away with it. Get lost, creep. Weirdy. We'll see what happens when I report you to the police. It was Rosso's sidekick, Sergeant Moo. Excuse me. Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, sure. I'd like to report an assault. Yes, monsieur. Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? Outside the Hotel Ubu. They stopped me as I was leaving and went through my pockets. Could you describe the suspects, monsieur? One looked like a gorilla, and the other looked like a weasel. Their names are Flap and Guido. Bon. I'll get them this time. What are you going to do about Flap and Guido, Sergeant? I'm going to bust them, monsieur. For years I have been hoping to pin something on that pair. Now's my chance. I'll show them. And the inspector. Thanks, Sergeant. Thanks for taking me seriously. I'm only doing my duty, monsieur. See you later, Sergeant. All right. Let's save it here, because it's actually quite a funny thing you can do with Rosso. <laughs> I actually love the way he responds. Excuse me? What do you want now? Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. Oh, you can't do it this early. Damn. Stobart is here to see you, monsieur. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. Very well.
Hi, Inspector. Remember me? But of course, Doctor. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental classification system that's the envy of the Bibliothèque Nationale. No tricks, mark you, monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through inactivity, so our minds decay. But there is no need. If only people would learn to exercise their wits daily. If he was trying to impress me, it worked. He was pompous and patronizing, but he had style. Eh bien, if you've called about the bombing, you're too late. Investigations have been closed, but I have been taken off the case. What about the murderer, the dead guy? It is out of my hands. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? <laughs> you call me from my desk and you say it doesn't matter? <laughs> I could have you arrested for wasting police time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love doing that. I love doing that. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> that was worth the th four minutes it took to do. <laughs> Right, let's go and do the Hotel Ubu now. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Oh no, it's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scouts on up? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Now tell me. Why do you want to get into that room? It's next to the room the killer is using. What killer? It's a long story. I really need that key bad. I'm not convinced I should help you, darling. Would you like to shake my hand, ma'am? Now, George, there's no need to be so formal. We met as tourists and I want to keep it that way, despite the enormous social gulf between us. I just couldn't bring myself to use the buzzer on this dear lady. Does this tissue mean anything to you? Good God, no! <laughs> I just thought the smell might be familiar. Please, darling, put it away. I'm no shrinking violet, but that object makes me feel quite queasy. Just the God, the voice she said, Good God, no! It's just like that really posh English way. <laughs> can you think of any use for this tool, ma'am? Oh, I can think of someone I'd like to use it on. Do you know what this is? Oh, yes. I'd say it was a clown's nose. That's right. It was worn as a disguise by a vicious killer. Good heavens, are you trying to alarm me? It's true. He uses the name Khan. I've never heard of the man. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? My God, it's him. That's Merlin. She represented everything I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. Did I show you this photograph? Yes, darling. Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. That gangster I told you about? He went through my pockets just now. Good heavens! One never knows what to expect in foreign parts. Thank you for the warning, young man. I shall hide my credit cards in my underwear. Are you here in Paris on vacation? No, darling, I'm on holiday. I needed to get away after Algie's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not, he was my husband. I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. 
The world romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton ship. I must say I was disappointed with his cocker van. Not at all what I was expecting. I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Hemel Hempstead. That was until last night. Oh, really? What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. It was just as I'd always imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight. Romantic music tinkling across the room. And then, a stranger's glance. Those brooding eyes, that suave manner. Those tight trousers. He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. Ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. I have to go, ma'am. Right. I want to try and get to the point where I can actually... Before I go to Ireland. There was no one registered under the name of Khan, but the name in the book for room 22 was Merlin. Excusez-moi, monsieur. What? You are trying to steal that key. No? No. Wait. Hey, no touche pas. Just looking. What now, monsieur? I've just been manhandled by a gorilla. Yes? I do not see any signs of a gorilla. No, not a real gorilla. It was a guy who looked like a gorilla. It happened right out front of this building. Let me get this quite clear. Are you complaining or bragging? I want to know what you're going to do about it. The scrawny one has a gun. I suggest you contact the police. Can't you do anything about them? What goes on in the streets of Paris is hardly my responsibility. He's out the front of your bloody hotel, you stupid idiot. Aren't you concerned that your guests are being intimidated by gangsters? No one else has complained, monsieur. Did they steal anything from you? Well, no. They didn't find what they were looking for. What was that? I don't know. I don't think they did either. Thanks for your help, buddy. I don't like him. <laughs> What can I do for you now? Who was the guy who led you on? His name is Merlin. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, Mr. Stobart. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman. A man of honor. Do you know, I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling, positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. And that's why you want the key? Yes, ma'am. I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case. But a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. I say, you there, flunky. Oui, ma 
madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Over to you, my dear. Okay, so you can fuck around till he gets back and make Lady Piermont keep checking everything over and over again. But there's no point in doing that. of the killer's hotel. If you're going to pay him a visit, take care. Remember, that guy's a professional. Thanks. I'll be fine. Well, that didn't work out quite well. It was a key ring bearing one large brass key and a tag which read Hotel Ubu. Maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. The cabinet was empty, but it smelt of onions. No kidding, it really did. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there, my friends. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. It's really great playing this game again. Um, I mean, some parts of this game I find really frustrating to get through. You know, really just, it's just, not tedious is the right, that's the wrong word, but just a bit long-winded to get through if it's drawn out. And this game obviously has dated. It is, it is dated. Um, but in my opinion, it's the better version of the uh, two. Even though the other game has more in it with Nico, uh, I don't think it really needs it. Uh, they had to change a few things in order to fit it in. Uh, but like I've been saying, that is over on the channel on Twitch. Although I haven't continued it at all. I never did anything this weekend. Um, I haven't really been focusing on Twitch at the moment. I've been more doing stuff on the channel. Uh, and luckily I was because if I had if I had done this stuff this weekend, I literally would have run out of time to upload stuff for my, seventh, for my ninth year anniversary on Tuesday this week. On the seventh, it is seven years... Nine years since I started um, Classic Gamer on uh, YouTube. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you, guys, for watching the video. You've reached the end. So thank you again. This has been recorded and edited by myself. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified of when I upload. If you want to see me do live streams, head over to my Twitch. Link is in the description. Thank you once again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.